Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today you're going to learn about what it's like to spearfish along the rigs here in Southern California. This is about an intermediate to advanced level dive here. I didn't know what I was getting myself into. This is about a year ago and I was only comfortable diving maybe 35 feet and a lot of the hot spots here are about 35 and below. So if you feel comfortable diving beyond those limits, you're going to open yourself up to a lot larger fish. There's a number of perch near the top, but if you want some of the larger sheep's head or uh, calico bass, you're gonna wanna be able to go down farther. Here, my buddy's got some scallops. Those are considerably deep, around the 50 plus mark. Uh, so, so if you wanna get the big ones, you gotta be comfortable. The problem about this spot is that it's really deep. So if you, you know, aren't weighted correctly, you have a shallow water blackout, you do anything kind of dangerous, there's really no getting you. <laughs> there's no ground. I think the bottom of it is around like 200 plus feet. So you just gotta be careful. Uh, also, the currents can be pretty crazy. This is a big blue water dive. Essentially, this is a floating reef in the middle of the ocean. So you just have to have all these things uh, into consideration. Always dive with a buddy. This is a spot that's really advantageous for one up, one down. When you get there, it's kind of crazy because you hear all these ambient noises and it's a, it can be a little bit spooky. So I didn't look at any videos before I went out on the first time and I wish I did. So I'm just going to let you guys enjoy. This is a, a deeper dive. This is my buddy Matt going beyond the, uh, the bottom pylons so that you can see, if you're a more advanced diver, what it's like to go this deep. There's an actually a big history in this video. This one is the one where my buddy actually shallow water blacked out for this fish. What you saw was that he went down deep and then came back up, saw the fish and went down again. And I've heard a lot of stories about how that up and down motion kind of throws your body off and can give you uh, a higher chance of a shallow water blackout. Also, what you can't see in this video is that he was wearing a game bag that had some scallops. So when he was trying to come up, his game bag got caught on his reel. And um, I had to, good thing we we're doing one up, one down because I had to kind of keep him up until he woke up. But overall, he was safe and that's why the buddy system works. So make sure you stay together. That was my little sheep head that I got. Another tip is the sheep's head like muscles so if you have one of these little scallop uh, crowbars you can use that to kind of chum up the water that was my buddy Adrian getting a, a very nice sheep's head after the rigs when you're coming back into the Long Beach um, you can stop by the break wall the break wall usually has a lot of lobsters has different fish, calico, sheep's head, uh, some half moon. Here we were just messing around because we were done pretty early from the rigs and we just wanted to see what else we can catch. And since this video was about a year into me spearfishing, you can hear my excitement when I was just able to catch anything. So I like the pole spear. I think it's fun. I think it adds a little bit of a challenge and makes you have to get closer to the fish which improves your ability to hunt, especially with the gun, because I feel like the spear gun is just a little bit easier because you can take those longer shots. Here I am with a half moon, and then I switched out for the spear gun, and the water was not great. So I, I saw a little calico dart into a rock, and I really couldn't see, see where he was, so I just took the shot and uh, was lucky enough to brain it. <laughs> I brained it. <laughs> and 
here we are coming back into port, going to load up the boat, rinse it off. If you do get invited onto a boat, do yourself a favor and help clean it up. That's going to help you get invited back on. And here's the day's catch. We did pretty well. We got a bunch of sheep's heads, some sargo, some calico bass, and that scallop, which is amazing raw, tastes like candy. If you've caught some of these fish before, let me know in the comments what your favorite recipe is. And if you found these tips helpful, definitely hit that like button, subscribe so we can do this again, and I'll see you on the next one.